Hello YouTube, this is Dark bringing you a video about Kulo, a bot working for Diablo 2 Resurrected. That's right, you heard me correctly. This is not a legacy bot, this is a resurrected bot. This is what everybody always asks for. This is what everybody always wants Atoll and Colbot to be. And ironically, it is using picket files from Atoll and Colbot or one of the other or both um, to pick items up, which is kind of interesting and kind of cool actually, that it's still useful to this day. This bot will require Diablo 2 1.13C, uh, Legacy Diablo 2 LOD 1.13C, in addition to Diablo 2 Resurrected. It will work on single player and it will work on Battle.net. However, you do need a working copy of Diablo 2 Legacy 1.13C. There is no exception to this. This is how it works and you're going to need to do that. So in preparation, you can download that, get it installed, and then have it somewhere where you can access it. Um, it's a great bot. Uh, as I said, I believe it's free and it works on single player and Battle.net. I think it's pretty effective. You know, it's not the best bot ever, but neither are Colbot and Atoll. You know, they all kind of have their issues and their quirks. So I think this is fantastic. I have not used it on Battle.net yet, I have seen reports that people are being banned using it, using certain types of strategies. So basically they were saying, if you just do like one area and then exit the game and come back in, you're going to get banned. And there are other situations where you can get banned too. So in addition to going and downloading it and trying this out for yourself, if you're a self-starter, I would highly recommend that you go to the discord and take a look there at what people are saying so that you can avoid a ban. However, if you do catch a ban, and you probably will, just to be clear, you can go and pay for another Diablo 2 resurrected copy. In fact, my suggestion would be that you should buy another Diablo 2 resurrected key if you're going to play this on Battle.net with a new email address, use a VPN or like a Sox 5 server to hide your IP address, and then create that new game file and only use that game file with Kulo. Make sure that you always use that new IP address with Kulo and make sure that you don't log into your actual accounts on battle.net that you care about. Because if you do, there's a good chance you're going to get all of those banned and you're going to lose everything. So I just want to make that perfectly clear and obvious to everybody that there's an extreme risk of getting banned and by using this, you accept that risk. And I'm pretty sure that if you go to their Discord, they say the exact same thing. So I think that's all I really have to say for now. Like I said, uh, prereqs are Diablo 2 1.13c, Diablo 2 Resurrected. And that's about it in terms of what you need to really get it up and running for the first time. You are watching single player here. I have not played it on Battle.net yet. I don't feel comfortable playing it on battle.net yet, but it does work. I can confirm that. So uh, without uh, getting too much more into this video and making it any longer, I'm going to let it go ahead and play a little bit so you guys can see it in action and me myself, because I haven't really watched it very much either. And that'll be the end of the video. So please like, and subscribe if you like this kind of content and you appreciate the work that I do and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.